Hello everyone, I'd like to show you my latest creation. It's a um, memory array. It holds 46 bytes. Here is an example of me recording some information on it. We have all these pressure plates and levers. They input data. Every time you hear a, a beat it records the inputs of each of these. So this could be anything. This could be 8 bits. So it could hold some ASCII data or uh, anything really. There, I keep inputting some random data. Alright, and that high-pitched beep means it's we're finished recording. So, there we go. That was about a minute to record these uh, 46 bytes, 46 sequences. Now we can replay this at a much faster speed. So, this is what we just input. Now it's replaying it. It takes about 18 seconds to uh, read the data a lot quicker than writing it and there we go so how does this work let's have a look at it Ta -da. so basically it's using the idea of using transparent and um, solid blocks to store the data here are each of the bytes, the arrays. And uh, a glass block and a solid block is used. And what this does, uh, these switch the two around. So the glass becomes the solid and the solid the glass. And at the same time, this reads it, reads what the current bit is, which gets sent over here to our output here. Now the green one here is the input which gets taken to a SOAR gate here and uh, basically what that does is if the input and the output are different it uh, tells this to swap the bits. So if we already have a, an ON and the input is an ON then we don't need to swap. Same with OFF but if they're different then this will send a signal through which will swap the two bits around. So uh, let's see that in action. Let's record all the ones over it. And let's see what it does. There. Each of these, this is sending the write command to every uh, bit. Here, perfectly timed. Swapping from zeros to ones here. Oh. So now we're recording the entire thing to all ones. These are the eight writing units. Uh, this here, which is not used at the moment, is a six bit register. So each, each byte can be uh, retrieved based on its uh, address. It's not used at the moment, it could be removed if you don't need it. This is sending a step command, which sends one loop here, and is sent through here to the right pistons. Um, it has the ability to go backwards as well, so there's a forwards and a backwards command. Um, those are set here with the black and the orange ones, which push push this uh, row of blocks. And what that does is send the these signals from the pulsar there into the right 
set of pistons. So this way you could seek forward and seek backwards and look through the data. So um, to write as fast as possible, I created this delay here. So um, what this does is the moment the write command gets sent, write and step in this case, um, it uh, disables from sending more commands. This is a fail safe so that it doesn't keep sending these commands. Because if they come through wrong, um, this can be corrupted. So timing is important. And there are some fail safe mechanisms here that uh, people can't put too much wrong input. So that blocks it from um, sending more. Let's see that in action. Um, there, signal gets up and it enables again. That's about 1.4 seconds here. That's how long the writing takes for one byte. 1 1.4 seconds. And it takes 0.4 uh, seconds to read. So there you go. Anything on this side with the, uh, with the stone is just an implementation here. Well, let's have a look at these uh, registers. Play. So those are all the register bits, if you want to look for a piece of data. Uh, I'll upload the schematic somewhere soon, and uh, maybe make some more detailed videos on how some of these parts work. Anyway, I hope you like it. Goodbye.